about the three things that are important to me. At first, I didn't know what to choose, but then um, I just like dug deeper, so I found something. So this is my charm bracelet. Yeah, it probably doesn't mean like a lot. Like obviously, I can go buy one myself, but getting it as a gift, like it was um, meaningful. Um, so the three charms that are like most important are the turtle, the pineapple, and the evil eye. I got the turtle one in uh, Sweden. My mom got it for me. Uh, we went shopping in like this plaza thing, and she was like, oh, because I was so bored out of my mind because we were so stupid. Uh, she's like, oh, do you want to go shopping? And I'm like, no, because I don't like shopping. So she's like, oh, they have Pandora charms. I'm like, oh my god, I love it. Okay. So I went and like, the one you want. And I was like, the turtle, because I have a turtle as a pet. So I picked that one. It was like cool because, I don't know, I didn't get it from like the US, you know, so. I mean, the pineapple, me and my best friend have uh, an inside joke from like sixth grade about a pineapple. It's just funny because every time we say the word, we just start laughing because like we were so like, we were like badass kids when we were younger. Like, it just brings back <laughs> memories. <laughs> so uh, every time I mention it, it's just funny. And then the evil eye, it was my boyfriend got it for me. Uh, our first Valentine's Day together, he's like, so nobody gives you bad luck. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> Nobody would be bad luck, you know? <laughs> but it was cute, like, I don't know, it was like, me, but he got that, it was, I don't know, it was heartwarming, you know? Um, and then the second thing is my turtle, Bubby. <laughs> <laughs> he's like cute as hell, he's like huge, as yeah, he's huge. Um, I got him as a birthday gift, like, from myself to myself, like, Nobody got me a gift, so I'm like, I'm getting a pet. <laughs> I'm like, don't get one. I'm like, either a dog or a turtle. She's like, go get the turtle. So <laughs> nobody has a say in outfit for me, but <laughs> but I got him. He was like cute as hell. He looked at his face, like he's just like, hey, you know. Um, and he's like really important to me because one time I thought he was dead. Uh, I went to go feed him like at night, and I was like. I do like a stupid little dance like when I say hi, I'm like, hey, Bobby, and he did not move, you know? Usually he's like up on the tank like looking and he wasn't moving, so I'm like, uh-oh, like Bubba's gone, you know? So I just, <laughs> so I started crying, like I did a whole funeral thing, and then my dad came down like, he's like, well, what happened? I'm like, he's dead, hand on my heart and everything. But then, I don't know, he started moving. My dad was like cleaning out the tanks, like take him out to throw him away, obviously, like do something with him. Um, and then he started moving, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I started like, he's alive, like, it was perfect. It was awesome, honestly. And now my mom's like, you better beat him, like, don't forget. And I'm like, okay. You know? And then the third thing is, uh, on my trip to Sweden, I met my, like, baby cousin, Milan, and I have a first cousin who's right there. His name's Narari, he's 31. It was my first time meeting him, because he came from Syria, actually, three years ago to Sweden, like he like escaped or whatever. Um, I never met him because my mom didn't want to take us to Syria because all this, it was all this uh, like war and stuff and it wasn't safe. So I met him for the first time this past summer and it was awesome. He's like the best friend I ever had, you know? Um, and then that's baby Milan. He's so cute, like obsessed with that child. Um, it was fun because uh, the last time I went to Sweden was for his parents' wedding, and then this time we went, it was like he was born, so it was like, you know, it's like cute as I am. Uh, and then, have you guys seen my big fat Greek wedding? Yes. yes. This is my big fat. I see you, wedding. This is literally part of my family. I don't know if you can see them. We're missing, these are all my first cousins. Um, I'm missing like maybe 15 because they're all pregnant, like they couldn't fit in the picture. <laughs> so it's like, move your stomach, I gotta fit. It's like, don't get a picture. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so that's like all of them. I don't talk to them very much because, uh, I don't know, they're, I don't like connect with family, but there's like some cousins that like I can like roll with and that's like Nurari and like my baby Milan. But I don't know, so the thing is like, like a photo album from the trip would be really cool to like keep from a fire, I guess, because I don't know, every picture is like memorable. Like you can't like replace it, I guess. You know, I can't replace it. Well, I don't know, I like it a lot. Um, there's like a baby because he's my cousin. Like, we barely talk, but it's like cute. Cause, like, we've got along at one point in life, which is awesome. Now we see each other, we're like, like we don't mix. <laughs> but yeah, those, uh, that's the uh, three things I would say in a fire. Thank you. Okay.